No Fear 2, T, no, the number two. No Fear, not letter two, number two. No Fear, number two track. No Fear 2 track, No Fear 2 track. This is No Fear 2 track. This is one of his many vehicles, Ray, Oregon. He's got a bunch of different vehicles. This is one you bought when? Bigfoot. Bigfoot is made by Bigfoot, right? That's correct. When did you buy this, Ray? Back in June. He's got the No Fear 2 Trek channel on YouTube, and the two is a number two, right? Yes. Correct. You bought this back in June. This is December, so you've had six months of this just about. And it is, uh, give us some specs. What do you got? Well, 29 foot diesel engine. It's Bigfoot, which is made in Canada. They're all season RVs. Uh huh. Uh, well insulated, got double pane windows. Uh, I was just in Kentucky in 20 degree weather and I'm sitting inside 70 degrees <laughs> with my, just my, my Mr. Heater working. Good, good. Uh, we're getting ready to turn her in and she's going to get her four wheel drive hooked up uh, starting tomorrow. Okay, wow. Get some off road wheels on her. So we, we were talking earlier, we're in Morganton, North Carolina, which is just to the east of Asheville. Asheville. You've got to drive back today and you're going to drop this off and some guy's going to work on this for a couple of weeks to put it, make, to do it all, get it up to four wheel drive for you, right? Correct. And then you are going to fly over to Tennessee and then you're going to hang out there through the rest of the month and then hopefully the work will get done. Some more deer hunting in Kentucky. Some more deer hunting up in Kentucky, right? And then fly back at then, the end of the month. Hopefully it's ready. Hopefully it'll be ready. Wow. She gets raised up six inches and larger off-road tires get put onto her. Okay. Wow. In fact, the off-road tires are, are uh, snow certified, you know, snowflake certified tires. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So I can uh, hopefully get her back to North Carolina and get her up on the ski, you know, ski slopes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. This can, contraption back here look is at a, that. a hydrala lift. Hydra, hydra lift. Hydra lift. It's for my motorcycle. Uh, I don't have the platform on it right now, but there's a platform goes on this. Uh -huh. It's 12 volt. Got a switch. Goes up and down. Carries about 500 pounds maximum. Uh, and then I have a, a, a util, utility trailer that I drag behind it that I got ATV in. Okay, cool. So now you have three vehicles, right? I've got a, a Dodge uh, conversion van, which right. is a little bit of a, it doesn't have a sinks or toilets or anything in it. Right. Just a, an electronic sofa. That's one vehicle. That's my like utility vehicle. Right. I use for work, things that I need to do. I can cargo, I can put into it. I've got a 19-foot Class B, the Coachman, uh -huh. that we did January of 2019. You did the interview. Yes, in January of 2019, you came down to Athens, Georgia, and I did the interview. I will put a link to it in the description below. Yes. Also, uh, that that is still in the process of being rehabbed. I, I just finished a, a full-body uh, uh, bed liner uh -huh. paint job on it. That one's also been converted over to four-wheel drive. Some really nice uh, front and rear bumpers and winches on it. Uh -huh. But it still has more work. And this one I picked up because uh, I wanted a Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, my plans are I can take this to a region, uh, park it, take my motorcycle off, go back and pick up the Class B, the ATV, come back to this one this one's my base camp okay for a region right and then i go off on small trips with the right. other uh so so RVs. we don't see a lot of nomads doing that but you are one guy and you are using multiple rvs yeah, yeah one is your base camp one you travel around in maybe a third one even and then you can my move camp, around right my regional base camp this one yeah i can go like uh southwest up to the northwest up into canada or, or alaska to the southeast, southeast, or and then I bring the other one to it, and then I do my short camping trips and right, right. RVing with the other one. Okay, very cool. Because the other one I can go up on the forest roads and things, 
but this one's much more comfortable to come back and rest in okay. before I want to go out again. Okay. All right, so that sounds really cool. Let's take a look at the inside, shall we? <laughs> it's got the, uh, the little steps there. Oh yeah, all right. Follow you. <laughs> you got some tires. All right, yeah, this is cozy, this is nice. All right, so this is the front. We've got the driver's area over here. Very nice, and you've got a nice step down here. You were saying now you want to get, you, did you want to get rid of this uh, passenger seat or well, something? I, I, I already removed over here where the tires are. Yeah, oh yeah, there, oh there yeah. Was a, there was a sofa with a jackknife uh -huh. bed in there. I moved, moved the whole thing. When the tires go onto the vehicle, yeah. I have all this space. And then I'll just use it for a recliner here. I, oh, I, yeah, I want to yeah. keep the nice open area. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. This portion of the dinette I want to remove. Uh -huh. And I'm going to keep a, a, a little 12-volt uh, 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 freezer down underneath. I don't need extra seats. Right. And that back blocks my uh, seat from reclining. And I'm 6'4". Yeah, So yeah. it's more important. Oh, yeah, you fit in here really well. And we've got the little kitchenette over here. We got the uh, some more uh, cabinets over here. No, that's my fridge. These are the fridge oh, this is a fridge. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. The, you don't want it opening up. All right, the fridge and the oh, and the freezer. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And then we've got the bedroom. Look at the bedroom. That's a nice size bed. We got a nice bedroom back here. This is very nice for yeah. even a big guy like you. Fit in here really nice, huh? Got my TV. Got your fan. Oh Easy. yeah. Nice space for under here. Oh storage. oh yeah, lots of storage down there. Very nice. Your TV, and your like TV, I said, it's so well your jackery. Insulated. Ah, jackery. I, I don't really worry about cold weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very nice. And then of course El Bano. Very nice. A nice toity and a nice big shower with a beautiful, yeah, yeah. nice a lot of light in there, a right? Nice bath underneath. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. And some more storage over here. Yeah. Nice pantry. And a pantry. Look at that. Oh, oh, wow. That's really cool for all your spices and uh, condiments. Yeah. Cans of beans. Can be Cans prepping. of beans and ramen. <laughs> prepping, huh? <laughs> gotta, gotta admit, Camel Day paid for lunch today. Yes, I did. I did. And we only ate half the pizza. I got a giant pizza. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, that, that's very nice, very nice. So, so you're going to take this in, get the work done on it. Then you're going to go doing some uh, some deer hunting in Kentucky and whatever. Come back and pick this up, and then you're going to Quartzsite, right? Probably. Is that what you said? Yeah, Quartzsite, so that area. We're doing this interview on what the third of December. So you're going to hopefully in a month be After on the, the road to Quartzsite. First week of uh, January, try to get out there. Get out there for the big tent. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just. Start playing with her out in the sand. Make sure the four-wheel drive's working. Right, right. Try to break her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See if it, see if she see if she makes it. Right. Yeah. New wheels, new tires. Wow. Snow tires. And then what are your plans after Quartzsite? Where do you plan? Uh, looking for snow. I'll probably run up to uh, Salt Lake City. Maybe try to do some ski skiing at uh, uh, what is it, Deer Park or, or Park City up there? Right, right. Or uh, okay. Into. Uh, uh, Back into Oregon. Okay. Check very out cool. my boat. Check yeah, out you my got the RV. you got the boat now, and you're thinking of selling that, right? Yeah. You said it's so. A, you just have the three different vehicles yeah. plus I, the motorcycle. I, I I finally put a, a a video up on my channel, just a short thing, just right. to show people what the boat was. That's, okay. That's what okay. I live We'll on. link we'll link to that below. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I still got the other RV, the Class B that we did the previous interview. With. Right. 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 I'm, I'm still uh, doing some work on that. Microwave, yeah, 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 a lot of stuff. God, yeah, very good, very you, nice. You, you sort of sense that's a range. Correct? Yes, that's a range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Is that propane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, this is nice. This is very nice. I jumped on it. I when I when I saw. That's it, right. You bought this back in June. You said a port a dealer in Portland had it, and you jumped on it. And then when you came out after you signed the papers, there were already a couple other people there standing in line to. To take a look at it, and you got it. Yeah, I got it. I and if you didn't it. sign the paperwork, you would have had a bidding war in the parking lot, probably. Yeah. Within uh, within 24 hours of it going up on the internet for sale, <laughs> I had it. I yeah. snagged it. Yeah. And it. It had everything I wanted. 
entertainment Very nice. center. This I'll, I'll pull out. Oh yeah. Put a, a fireplace heater in there. Oh yeah, nice. You know, just the, the nice. illuminated fireplace. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool, Ray. It looks really nice. I wish you all the best, and thank you it's, for stopping by. These little projects in life is what keep you in lot yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah. They, you, you know, people. Yeah, yeah. Have nothing to do. They they get bored. You, know, you don't want to people, do that, yeah. You want to you want to have something interesting and compelling to do. In, in I your, can't die right now because I gotta get this one finished. I've got another project finished. So I, how I how old might you be? I'm I'm turning sixty nine. Sixty nine on New Year's. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, a New Year's. You're a New Year's yeah. baby. Yeah. Wow. A real one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not all the one that they. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were marking on belts. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> But yeah, New Year's baby. I'll be 69. Wow. Retired military. Very uh, cool. And I just like wandering aimlessly. Yeah, no, you really are a uh, full-time, pretty much, nomad, right? Yeah, I haven't been in a, a, an apartment or a house for, for decades. For decades, yeah. wow. The boat, the three vehicles, and the motorcycle. Motorcycle wow. with its trailer, little RV trailer behind the motorcycle. All right. All right, Ray, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Nice to talk to you. It's our second time. Yes, right. We, 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 as I said, Hopefully we... Hopefully we won't meet like this again. <laughs> I've got enough RVs. Yeah. The other thing we're planning is uh, Ray may stop by in late December. If we, it all works out, because I'm not sure what my plans are, we may... Um, here, we'll just do it. Hey. Hi. Come back okay. and... Uh, yeah, and he'll show me all the... Uh, four-wheel drive upgrades and how that all worked and all that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to take another look at it. So we, that's tentative. We'll see. Knock on wood. Knock on laminate. Whatever. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Vlog under.